up everybody? I'm Lady Nadra and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time, I'm just saying welcome. You know what I mean? I'm glad you guys stopped by to, um, you know, watch my video. Hope something that is said or done here will, will prompt you to hit the subscribe button and like the thumbs up button. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm, I'm trying to stay consistent. That's what I want to do this year, stay consistent. So I hope you like this content. Um, if you do, give me a thumbs up and drop down in the comments what you want to see from me. I, I'm happy to make, you know, um, com content that um, you'd like to see. You know what I mean? So please leave me a thumbs up. Your thumbs up matters. <laughs> Your subscription matters. Don't you know, look, I'm trying to get to, I'm right at 2,500, a little, like 2,600. Um, I want to get to 3,000 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Little milestones. I'm just taking bit by bit, chunk by chunk, you know what I'm saying? But I need you to subscribe to my channel and, you know, help me out. I hope you enjoy this content. This is just um, a vlog over the last week actually um, man you know <laughs> another loss another loss you know I I think my last uh, vlog I was talking about I lost my godmother and then this vlog um, I'm attending a funeral for my cousin my dad's first cousin and I went to support um, her her kids Rodney Jimmy and Shaetta and I wanted to, you know, just be there for them because, you know, Jimmy was definitely here for me. So, you know, <laughs> just wanted to, you know, I don't know, connect with my family. You know what I'm saying? That's important. The older I get, the more important that is to me. So I hope you enjoyed this content. And if you do, leave me a thumbs up, you guys, please. You know, I'm begging. <laughs> I'm begging. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about my videos, all right? I love to interact with you guys. So just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And here we go. Okay, it's almost your birthday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really almost my birthday. Huh? Uh-huh. Yep. It's almost that that time. 27th. Very special day. Mm -hmm. Very special guy. Mm-hmm. So he went and he did his first um, float, the, the sensory deprivation float. He did that for the first time Thursday night. Um, and then we added on the salt cave. What did you think? Um, you know, at first I'm just like, okay, because you were, you were asking me. I knew you weren't going to stop until I went. <laughs> and so... Oh, just, is that how it is? <laughs> right. I, I mean, I, you know, 23 years, I know. I'm like, okay, let me go over here and do this. Okay. You know, cause you know, I'm like, you know, cause my mind is was definitely on what what was gonna happen to the next day. Um, mm -hmm. But and when I went with no expectation, um, you know, I'm just like, okay, let me get through, cause I couldn't really, in my mind, wrap my mind around how floating. I understand the concept. Was going huh? to help me? I was like, it's just a wasted hour. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. You know, I could be doing something else. But mm -hmm. when I went in there, it was just, it was, you know, I didn't realize how how stressed and tensed I was um, considering, you know, the stuff that had gone on uh, in the last, this year, you know, uh -huh. with the losses and the funerals and the, and the stuff that we've had. So I didn't right. really realize how stressed I was. So when I got in there, you know, it just was amazingly relaxing. I probably hadn't rested like that, which that's what they said that, you know, it's equivalent to one hour in there is equivalent to but four hours, four hours of, REM of, sleep. of REM sleep, which uh -huh. is, you know, um, and so I rested and just, just really, I don't, I can't really explain what happened, but I rose, um, like rested and mind rested, body rested. And because of, you know, soaking in that Epsom sauce for an hour, it made my body the feel body, better. Yeah. Your joints uh, and stuff. Joints mm -hmm. feel better. And so, yeah, I would definitely recommend it in the salt. Um, I really didn't understand what was going on until we left there, and I was really clear. And, oh, the clear, cave. The cave. I really didn't the understand what was yeah. going on. But it was, it was good. It was a, a time well spent. To me, it's better than, I would do that more than I would massages. Okay. Yeah, you don't, 
but he doesn't really, you know, fancy the whole massage thing. I love a massage. I love a good massage. But this was more like a reset to me. It was like a, you can't see nothing. Like when they say sensory deprivation, that's literally what it is. Cause it's, you know, it's quiet, you know, it's still and there's no sight. You can't see nothing. I mean, you can't, even if you do this, you know, you can't see it. Um, we did ours together. So that was, um, that was different because the first time I did it by myself. Um, and so that was different just because when he would move, I could feel the water move and it would move me. Um, but once he got settled, I could tell when he got settled and it was, you know, it was good. He needed, so I would recommend the earplugs. You yes. too? Yeah, because you can't really, you won't really be able to relax your neck. Unless yeah. you get the earplugs. Yeah, especially you're, you're if, if to hold your head up. Yeah, if ear if water in your ear bothers you, that's gonna bother you. It doesn't bother me. Water in my ear doesn't bother me. And so um I floated the first time with no earplugs. But the reason I wanted to use them the second time was because um a couple days the the, the few days in between I felt like like salt or the graininess in my ear in my inner ear so I knew um, that I wanted to you know not have that experience anymore but then I realized they had um, ear rinse which they didn't tell me that the first time I went the second time they had a little squeeze bottle where you could squeeze the ear rinse to get that out and so I didn't have any of that that grainy feeling this time although I did use my earplugs I don't know if the earplugs is what helped me not feel it or if the if it was the rinse that that um cleared that salt out of my ear. Yeah. And in the salt cave, you do really just you're just really sitting in there. We were just sitting in there talking for like 40 minutes, but they shoot out like this pharmaceutical grade of salt into the air and you're inhaling that the whole time you're in there. And there, there's like a, a monitor to know how much salt is actually in the in the atmosphere in that room, um, and so you can hear the machine going on and going off. They gave us um, kombucha, and um, which is this vinegary kind of drink. Um, it's good for gut health. That's why I drank it, but it's not tasty at all to me. Um, I can taste the vinegar in it, but. Yeah, I'll drink it just because it's good for me. Um, but yeah, it was a good time. I feel like I could go back at least once a week. At least once a week. How about you? Um, I don't know about once a week, but I could definitely go maybe once a month, a couple times a month. A couple times a month. So, good stuff though. Try flow therapy. He said he could get in that tank, the one that's like a tank. It's this, you know, it only fits one person and um, it will never fit me. <laughs> I'll be that tore that thing up. So that one person will not be you. No, no, it won't be me. But he said he could do it. It just, it, I don't know, that door closed and it just seemed like it was like a capsule or something. And I think I've watched Final Destination too many times for. I could just see something falling down on the door, closing me in, and then it'd be the flip the switch, and then the water start rising. In my head, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but, you know, you may be able to do it, but they said it's really, um, it's a different experience, so you might want to try that one. But float therapy is amazing. Good morning. So today's look, I have on my little hat I got online. My beret with the net on front. I don't know where it is, where it's from. Uh -uh. Just literally Google beret with a the net. <laughs> These earrings are from Fancy Couture. I got my um, Melinda Maria uh, Carey chains on. And then I have this Lariat by uh, St. Moran that has my name on it. Um, then I got my Fendi, my Nano Fendi um, baguette. 
which literally fits nothing, but it's cute. <laughs> I like the way it, you know, what it adds to the outfit. Um, this jacket is from Zara in a size extra large, has pockets on the side, it's like a faux suede. It was really inexpensive. I can't remember how much it was, but like under $69, probably $49. I think it was $49. This black dress from um, Nordstrom is just a, you know, bodycon dress. And then I have on my Jeffrey Campbell um, boots. These are from this last season. And they have that L shape um, heel on there, backwards L. <laughs> and they're very comfortable, surprisingly. Um, usual suspects. Well, actually, I have on my JBW watch today. I normally wear my Fendi watch, but then I got the JBW one on here. And on this arm, I have my Dior combo. Monica Venator on my fingers. And um, I got to go put my wedding ring on. Today's my honey's birthday, so. Um, have on Lily Lashes. If you guys can see those. Lily Lashes. And on my eyes this morning, I don't have my usual Mocha Mommy. I have I used my um, Melt Stacks on my eyes. I can't remember the color. It's like a rust I know I use the rest. I don't know what I use for transition or my lid. Um, Pat McGrath on my cheeks. And Morgan did my lip combo. So it's a combination of a MAC liner um, with, I have a brown underneath. And then she put a little red and a little pink in, in the middle. And I blot it. <laughs> So that's what that is in the middle. So I can't, you know, it's a combo. Pretty, huh? My baby is so talented. All right. Um, that's the look for today. And I smell like Tom Feezy. <laughs> Tom Ford Lost Cherry is what I have on today. Oh, you don't. Is that the butter cake? Yes. Oh, mercy. Yeah. It's so good. It's his birthday. All right, all right, all right, all right. Happy birthday. Don't you touch that ice cream. <laughs> this is drums. Happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. There you go. See? Yes. I taught him well, huh? I decided to stop by Target on my way home um, to pick up some paper towels and some things for my mom. Um, but I just found these bowls. You guys know I love my Wendy salads and my salads and stuff. So I just found these bowls and I think they're super cute at Target. I ain't supposed to be cruising these aisles like this. I just came to get paper towels and some stuff for mama. But y'all, you know how you get, <laughs> you get a little sidetracked. Um, oh man, they got these in Target now. I have these in my cabinets at home, but I got them from the container store. Let's see, they're $12. Dollars here. I think I'm, I'm sure I paid more for them in um, the container store. So, y'all try this, their stuff out because look, they got all these little shelf um, steps. That's what I call them. Risers and stuff for your shelves. They have all that. 
I might need a couple for my closet. See what I can find. Listen, I am certainly grateful for my village <laughs> this morning. Um, so my husband's birthday was yesterday and we went out to San Diego and um, I totally forgot until yesterday when I got the well, Saturday evening when I got the reminder that my mom's appointment was Monday today at 9.40 a.m. <laughs> and we had already made plans to be in San Diego. I totally miscalculated that, you know, I messed that up. So my plan was, we drove separate cars to San Diego because my plan was to get up this morning and drive back. You know, it's like an hour, hour and a half away from hour and a half away, really. Um, so my plan was to get up and drive back, but I didn't have to because um, Kathy stepped up and, um, you know, she's already on weekly visitation with my mom. She helps me tremendously with my mom. Um, but she, you know, offered to take her to the, her doctor's appointment this morning. So, um, and then she, you know, <laughs> all the things that comes along with taking my mom to the doctor. I hated to have to ask her to do that. Well, I didn't ask her. I hated to have her do it because, you know, once they start poking and prodding on mama, you know, it kind of goes left sometimes, <laughs> but, um, she handled it like a champ and um you know she just she let them do only so much you know what i'm saying kathy's good at observing how i handle stuff and then she'll handle it the same way so um you know i trusted her with that but she said mama started getting a little antsy towards the end and um you know <laughs> it was over so um, i have to take her back wednesday morning in order to get her TB test read. But I was grateful that Kathy was able to step up today. You know, I'm finding it's just like when I had my kids. You know, when my kids were small, it's like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My village was super important when my kids were small. And I'm finding that the same set of people are um, you know, are present now. So, I'm grateful. So, I'm at Wendy's. I just ordered my salads, y'all, for the week. <laughs> I got my apple, apple pecan salads with um, extra pecans and extra dressing. You excited? Yes. Don't be too excited. You got to come down. <laughs> <laughs> so Morgan's floating, and then I got PK, Pastor Karen. She's gonna float too. You ready, Pastor Karen? <laughs> um, the water is so dense. There's 1,700 pounds of Epsom salt in it. So, um, all right. So I just got through my, my third float. That's the tub there. It's doing this uh, filtration thing. Took a shower, used the body wash, the shampoo and the conditioner. Got the salt off my hair, out of my hair and off of my body. And I'm gonna check on, um, go check on Morgan and PK, see how they're doing. How you guys feel? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Did you sleep? No, I didn't sleep. You didn't sleep? Yeah, I didn't sleep. <laughs> you didn't sleep? No. What did you feel? I didn't even close my eyes. You didn't? No. But I just felt like you just after all. I that neck thing. I think that neck thing would have helped me. That, okay. Because uh -huh. you were trying you to like, hold your head up? Yeah, you try to. You're fighting with it for a minute. <laughs> did you fight with it the first the time? The first time. The first time, yeah. I'm just like, I'm fighting with this water. Uh huh. Yeah. Isn't that something? Okay. Yeah, that I think the Epsom salt, I guess. How about you? Cause you're 
They had the eczema situation. No? Oh, good. And to let down his net and to believe God would fill his nets. And so that's my premise is that you got to trust God with the increase. You cannot be superficial or carnal with the idea of increase. So superficial or carnal as it pertains to um, increase in finances is what you're speaking directly I'm, to. I'm, I'm speaking. And, you know, we can't get, get past the fact that fish represents finances. Okay. I mean, we, we can't get past it. They were fishermen. This is what they did for a living. Mm -hmm. And so trusting God and for you business owners and, and uh, 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 you all who are, who are opening businesses and starting businesses, you must put God first because God knows where, if, if we want to use the word increase, God knows where it's at. But it comes from completely trusting God. I agree. I agree with that. Now, we, the conversation we were having, you had a problem with the word. I did have a problem Increase. with the word. I did have a problem with the word because, again, let me just show you. And you know I've done this. You know, you I know. I need Denise to come in live. <laughs> <laughs> we request to be in this live. <laughs> you know I'm going to do it. You look pretty in your pink. Pretty in pink, huh? Mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty and pink. Pretty, pretty and pretty and pink. Okay. Okay. Make so nothing be morning. something out of something. Can't make something be something out of something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Because we headed back this way. Yeah. We gotta go to Kaiser. Kaiser. So this is all the records of the ones done here. Read on the third negative. Negative, negative, negative. Okay. So I'll take it. Too? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, anything else I can... can help you? Thanks. You're welcome. So they're going to take the impression today. Yay! Yay! Wasn't expecting that one. I know, I wasn't either. I thought it was just getting a, I was just getting it's checked. Easy though. Okay. It's easy That's that putty stuff in my mouth. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are you a gagger? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, I don't I think so. I think I can handle it. You'll be fine. I think I can You'll handle be fine, it. Beautiful lady. You'll be fine. <laughs> I wonder how long does it take for um for them to actually make the tooth, the crown. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready, honey? Okay, so I'm gonna place it to a little one. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, bite down all the way, bite. There you go, honey. I'm gonna just reach around you. Stay open. And that's all you're gonna do. You're gonna stay just like that when I take the impression, all right, honey? Just open my mouth, keep my you're mouth just gonna open. Keep your mouth open. I'm gonna do everything else. Okay. All right, honey. Stick your tongue up through the middle, honey, and then relax. She's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> So this is an opposing, so the lab has an opposing for your model. Mm -hmm. So he can match it up with the top mm -hmm. perfectly. Mm -hmm. Now one doctor is gonna take is uh, called a uh, permanent impression mm -hmm. and it's for the tooth. Mm -hmm. Your, uh, you're gonna make your tooth. Mm -hmm. A little bit different material. And give me. My goodness. There we go. All right, so here's a paper towel. Mm -hmm. Take one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have the one. This is our lightest shade. You want to hold that and this and tell me what you think. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no? Mm-mm. Closer to this one, right? Yeah. This one's a little bit funny, but this one's Here, do the other one. This one is That one's perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. Alrighty then. We want it to be perfect. So C2, right? C2. Good job. Okay, so that's done. Got my impressions. I'll go back um, March 21st to get my crown put on, I guess. She said he was going to take the screw out, but he didn't take the screw out. Um, I'm used to it now, so it doesn't bother me. Um, but go get something to eat. Now I think I'm going to head to the nail shop. Um, since I fly out tomorrow going to my I don't know if I told you guys that I'm going to my cousin's um, funeral it's my dad's first cousin and um, <coughs> I'm going to insert a clip you guys that this was a praying woman this was a praying woman she woo, she knew how to send one up <laughs> Made home and my far fetched package is here. I ordered um, this cute little number from far fetch. Now, is it gonna fit me? I don't know. I ordered. This Rustlin Vaginsky um, Raffia. Is this Raffia? Raffia hat. Yeah, I got it in a size large. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna be, I'm telling you, I'm gonna really be disappointed if I can't. Um, fit it or if it gives me a headache because that's normally what happens because my head is big I normally end up with a headache and um, so let me take all this little stuff off of it y'all praying it's cute it's perfect uh oh And it don't really have no stretch to it. It's on. It's on my head. I just don't know. I think it's cute. It's secure on my head. And I think it's all the way down. I just hate like on the sides. There'll be a whole lot of room right here. But this hat is not meant to come down that far. So. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't feel tight. Hmm. I wonder will this raffia stretch just a little bit? Cause it's a cute hat. What y'all think? I think it's so dope. Like when I've I've seen Hilo Lux wear them and then Recently, who had the um, had this one? This Rafia is um, G Jeronica Marcia. Um, she had this particular one, and it was too cute. But she wears wigs and stuff like that. But I just thought it would be cute with without my hair. You know, when you don't have hair, you have to get creative with your accessories. So um, I think it's gonna be good. 
I'm trying to see. It doesn't move like it's on my head. Am I trying to convince myself? Look, yeah, don't laugh at me when I'm wearing the hat and it's sitting up high. Is it sitting up high? My head is big, but it's cute. I like it. I like the hat. Okay, so from Farfetch, it came with this piece of paper inside the hat um, and it has a dust bag. It's a regular black dust bag. Um, doesn't say anything on it, so it's a plain dust bag. And then they send you the Rustlin Baginski bag. Um, I guess in case like you're gifting it or something like that, and you wanna. But Rustlin Baginski. I don't know what else they have. I haven't looked on their their um, site or anything like that. I just see these hats on Farfetch when I when I scroll. I thought this one would be really cute for spring stuff. So I'm making my salad. <laughs> Some of y'all be hating on me with this salad, but this salad is good. I don't care what you say. It's good. With this uh, Wendy salad with the, give you so much chicken, look. Chicken and blue cheese crumbles and craisins, apples. Mm, 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 mm. And I've been buying like three of them, sometimes four, but three is normally pretty safe. I'm, I'm realizing sometimes four um, doesn't work because, you know, they start to go bad. Um, but I think what I want to do is if I could find these, these roasted pecans somewhere else. I'm going to buy a bag of those. Buy some more blue cheese crumbles because I find that those are a real treat when I um, chew down on one of those. <laughs> and I already have extra craisins. So I add those in there too. But it's such a, a filling salad. If I eat it in the evening... I'm good for the rest of the evening. Um, I don't eat it all in one setting either. So my husband came in here and instantly started messing up. The housekeeper just left. He instantly started messing up. It's like they don't even see that the house is clean. It's, well, I mean, it always looks like this. Look, he just started throwing stuff on the couch. I think we fly out like somewhere midday. We, we gotta go to LAX. I'm gonna get up in the morning, color my hair, um, trying to, you know, mentally pack. Um, and then tomorrow I'll just throw stuff in my bag. You know what I mean? I'll just be gone for Friday and I fly back Saturday. I go to the funeral Saturday and fly back. Uh oh. Sorry. Fly back Saturday. So, um, but then I have to have, whenever I'm wearing a church Sunday, I got to get my Sunday spit together. Because <laughs> I think I get back pretty late on Saturday. So, got to figure all that out. Hey, y'all. So, I am literally packing to go um... Sorry, I have to get a bite of my salad. <laughs> um, packing to go to um, Houston to my cousin's funeral. Yep. I mean, literally. Leaving the house in a couple hours to go to, um, let me turn the TV down. We just had to talk about Fresh Novi, y'all. Y'all remember I told y'all Fresh Novi, playing with the girls. She ordered a, a, a outfit to <laughs> So, um, I'm just packing my, um, Balenciaga dress for the funeral. See, I got my scarf. <laughs> I got underwear. I got my makeup. Mark wants to be able not to check anything, but how do you do that with makeup? You know? Mm -mm. 
I put some stuff in plastic bags and things like that, but I don't know. I'm gonna try. Worst case scenario, we just have to check it. I got an outfit for tomorrow during the day. Um, and if I have to change for tomorrow night, I have something for tomorrow night. Mm, shoes for tomorrow day. I'm just gonna wear the shoes. I'm trying not to take a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna wear the shoes that I'm gonna wear tonight. I'm just gonna have those and now if I just have to get something else, then I'll purchase something. <laughs> We out here in Houston. It's early in the morning. I um, just got our luggage, so now we gotta head to get a rent a car. The gas here is 349, 329 here at the Shell Station. Ain't that something? How much is that home five? I don't even look five at it. Ten at is what I saw yesterday. It just went up again. <sighs> It's gonna be six dollars. It's gonna be ten dollars. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, let Putin keep doing what he's doing. For a gallon, one yeah. gallon. Now, um, Biden is considering a, a oil embargo where they're not gonna buy Russian oil, which is the second largest oil producer in the world. And mm. so, yeah, if they cut it out, that out, it's gonna be ten dollars. Ain't gonna be going nowhere. <laughs> They're gonna be flying. Ain't gonna be going nowhere. Tickets gonna triple. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Um, this door, let me get further away from it. So this door, it goes doubles as a cover for the closet, but if you're in the bathroom and you need to use, you need to close the door. Close it, but the closet is open, so that's different. So I'm literally right, that's my hotel right there. And this is where I am from the uh, mall. So I just walked over here. Just gonna see what's going on. It's noisy out here today, but um, I'm just seeing what's going on over here at this Galleria. Um, <laughs> had to call and report myself out of town with the bank, just in case, you know? Who knows what I might find? <laughs>
So I left Mark at the room, but I think he's going over to walk um, to Irwin Watts, I think it's called, the golf store. <laughs> so he was like, you don't want me to go with you, huh? I'm like, if you want to. <laughs> but I really did, you know, I like to go to the mall by myself, especially, you know, browsing. You know, I like to browse and um, he ain't gonna wanna go in all the stores I wanna go in, so. And I don't know this mall like that, so, you know, I just wanna take my time and cruise by myself. I guess in Texas, you don't have to wear your mask. People just walking around here sneezing and stuff, you know? <laughs> like, yikes. But I guess you don't have to wear your mask out here. Because there's it's plenty of people walking around here with no mask on. <laughs> So Mark decided to meet me over here at the mall. I guess he went to Irwin Watts. Uh, oh, I see him. Here he comes. <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna get a massage. All right, damage done. Headed back to my room. Mark came and met me and he picked up my bags. And um, so I'm hands-free. <laughs> um, went and got a massage, you know, the little mom massage it was terrible then it was trying to press me about that little tip i'm like nope no tip i mean they hit you with the full body first of all this lady came up to me in the mall and she started squeezing my neck and it felt good so she kind of you know kind of got me and so she walked me over to the place to get the table massage <laughs> and um she starts on my back and the next thing i know I, I feel a man, I feel a switch, and it's a man on my back, which is not a problem. I, I don't care as long as they're strong, you know, because I like the pressure. But, um, <laughs> so he starts pressing on my back and, and talking, and I mean, he's talking to somebody else. He was talking on his phone. Um, I felt like he was even, like, texting at a point. Am I pushing this thing? I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Um, yes, yeah, so I felt like he was texting at a point. Um, he burped. Like, he was like, oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Over my head. I'm like, oh, my. He did have a mask on, but I'm like, uh-uh. So I already knew I wasn't giving him no tip. And then he was just like in one section of my back. Um. And then I had to tell him, I was like, no, move around, move around, you know, massage. Then they talked to me, uh, had the guy do my feet too, and uh, which was extra, you know. And uh, he was whack. That was terrible. So, needless to say, I mean, I guess I feel a little better, but it wasn't what I was anticipating. So, that's my room, and we're going to go over to. Um, we're gonna go over and hang out with some of our friends and um, at their house. And then, I think that's it. Funeral tomorrow, so I'll see my family tomorrow. Um, and then we fly right out. I think our flight leaves at 4.30, so we gotta be there like 2.30 or 3. So I'll literally just see them and then keep moving, you know? Mark said he was downstairs waiting for me, but I guess he's in, um, yeah. getting something to eat and waiting for me. But I guess he went back up to the room. Why did I just get turned around? I was trying my key 
on the wrong room. <laughs> and I heard the TV on too. And I was, somebody was like, who's trying to get in my room? <laughs> Here at the funeral, early. <laughs> you know, you have to war, look. What? There's no balloons. Oh, Lord. Yeah. You gotta put that on the front of the church. Right. right. <laughs> what did it say? So we left the church and we changed clothes at the church, but Mark is telling me we should have changed. Did you see how clean these bathrooms are? <laughs> how pristine they are. Yeah. The church where the dog on. The toilet oh, was overflowing. <laughs> and I almost got my feet wet. We know where to go? Do we go up in here? Yeah. Go up here. Yeah. Yeah. So the toilet was uh well, had a little overflowage. Some yeah. People walking in all the time. Yeah. All right. I got it. But but you know I do this all the time, but this is the first time you did it. Just like everybody the first else. First time. You won't listen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you won't listen. I know what I'm doing. He I travels so, so much. much, and so you know we should all just acquiesce you know to that. him. <laughs> I do so much of going to the funeral and leaving. I've done that so much, and going straight to the airport. I'm doing so, so much. So you suggest. Changing at the rental car place, yes. Which rental we we rented this time from six. It was amazing. Yeah, it's my first time um, even hearing of them. Had a, we had a BMW SUV. Yeah. Well, we would have had another one, but you know, Miss Prissy. A Subaru Outback. She had but I mean, one. like, why not? We upgraded. Why not upgrade to um? The BMW, I think it was like an X5 or something like that, huh? Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. We were only here for a day, so we didn't get to get our um, <laughs> our usual Papa Do's run in or Frenchies. We didn't get to do all that, so um, we found this on our little trolley. On our <laughs> what, what is that called? Trolley is right. Our trolley ride to um mm -hmm. to our gate. We saw Papa Doug. We were like, 
<laughs> We're right on two like wheels. This, this is what we want. We just coming back from uh, Houston, Texas. Yep. And whose funeral? Um, my my dad's first cousin Shirley Jean. Had some great. Uh, church of God in Christ uh, <laughs> Church. Yes, we did. Yeah, so we we're did. on the plane. Um, our last stop. We had to go to San Francisco and then come back to LA. So we did all that to get here to get back. So we'll be back, uh, and in we'll see you all at nine o'clock uh, at Citrus Intermediate. We'll see y'all there. All right. All right. Township. All right. See you there. Hey everybody, Lady Nature here. Welcome to my outfit of the day. Okay, today, so I really just really wanted to wear this hat. <laughs> I got this wrestling Baginski hat from Farfetch. Super quick. It came so, so, so fast. It's um, a raffia or I don't know what else to call it. Um, you know, like Baker Boy hat type of vibe. It has the... the let me see, I can't see it. So, oh, the two R's right here. It's very, very cute um, for springtime. I also got this outfit on now. You guys, I live in California, so, you know, in California, we can wear what we want to wear when we want to wear it. So, I'm feeling spring-like today. And so, I'm wearing this Terry um, kind of just lounger set with the long pants. And it's got, um, like, long wide leg pants. Um, with the and the top is very loose fitting and it has a pocket in the front, you know, just very very casual. Um, headed to church today, but this is how I felt, you know. So I'm rocking with it. I have my Louis Vuitton um, Louise earrings on and a Monica Venator chain, the the curved uh, chain. I love this chain. It's nice and simple. Nothing, you know, dramatic. I like that look around my neck. I'm not a big chunky necklace girl um and of course i love hoops everybody knows that i got the usual suspects on my arm i have um well this is my jbw watch and my fendi cuff and then i have dior dior on this arm i haven't put on rings i'm not sure probably put on my monica venator um rings which i haven't unpacked yet so um, just got back last night. Anyway, stay on task, Nadra. Um, for my lip. Today I'm wearing, I don't know the brand. I can't see the brand of this. There's an LC on the front. I'm sure you guys can't see that, but there's an LC on the front. And the color is, she's not from here. So that's the base. It's a nice orange. And then I went with an Old Faithful Gloss. This is from MAC, of course. And it's called, uh... It's called Twinkle Twin. All right, so it's just a, a, a light layer of the gloss just to give it that kind of shimmer shine. All right, so um, today my shoes are my um, Gucci, I don't know the names of tennis shoes. I just like them. And I actually got these from kicksellers.com. So um, I have a code if you like kicksellers. I you know, you want to get some shoes, I got a code for you. I'll put it down here on the <laughs> bottom of the screen. But yeah, all right. Um, my bag for today, I'm probably either going to carry this, um, my V logo in orange, or I'm going to carry my Celine, which I've carried this all weekend. Um, and I think because of the casual look, I'm probably going to go with the tote. So, this will be my Celine tote, and that's my look for today. And also, today's fragrance, guys, um, I used my Baldi Freak body cream, and then I, I followed it up with the, with the spray, which let me, I'm layering today, okay? And so then, I went in, because I'm wearing orange, and I was just like, you know, ginger peach. <laughs> Why not? You know what I'm saying? I threw a little bit of that, of that over my Baldi Freak. So, I'm smelling wonderful. That's a great pairing. The Baldi Freak, and then just kind of kick it up with a little bitter peach on there. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with other people. Tell tell somebody else about my channel, all right? Um, 
I hope to see you in the next one. Go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. The information is at the end of this video. That's for um, more um, condensed content and uh, more style inspiration. All right. Hope to see you in the next video.